This is the view we woke up to on day two at Kintamani, where we came to visit Mount Bator. As the weather eased up, our new friends Wyan and Farrah picked us up for an ATV adventure on the volcanic rocks and a visit to the hot spring. But first, food. Specifically, fried fish, which is all we have been eating. This is Lake Bator, and on it, we found a fish farm, restaurant, and a boat rental all in one place. The boats are used to visit Trunyan Cemetery on Skull Island, where every year up to 11 dead village members are laid to rest in nature by the Tyru Menyan tree, which naturally deodorizes the smell of decay. We decided to skip the boat ride, but had we gone, it would have looked something like this. Next, we checked out locally grown Kintamani coffee at a new coffee shop. If you're anywhere near a coffee farm, we strongly suggest that you go check it out. Bali coffee is much stronger than most coffees around the world, and you'll always find a bunch of grind left over at the bottom. By the time we got to the ATV location, the weather was terrible, and we sadly had to return to our huts without adventure or hot spring. At least Mila was keeping us company. As it got dark, our lights went out due to a bunch of flies getting stuck in the switch. Luckily, all it took was some bug spray and 10 minutes of waiting. While we waited for the lights to turn back on, we walked to the local kitchen and ate. And what else but more fish. The next day, we made our way to the hiking site on Mount Bator, but had to decide on another day for reasons we will get to shortly. We decided to explore the town, so our host took us to the local motorbike rental. It turned out that all the bikes we saw were not for rent, but actually attendants of a cockfight next door. There was nobody even working at the rental place because the entire town was watching the cockfight. I was actually very disturbed by this, and every crow I heard was heartbreaking. The head of the cockfight explained to us, this is actually the town's tradition and a way of celebrating loved ones who recently passed away. They hold this event twice a year. A bike for a day in Kitamani costs an average of $9, and you get to look cool like these kids. After eating more fish, some dancing, and much fly swatting by the lake, we rode around and tried to get as far as we could without getting lost. Until we spotted somebody following us on a bike to a dead end, where we were told to turn around. So we did, unwillingly. There were definitely times we were in areas tourists weren't welcome. You don't usually see tourists traveling around a lot of these areas without a guide, and there's a good reason for it. Being the nomads we were, we didn't realize the need of guides in certain places. Our first mistake was thinking we could climb the mountain without a guide. It is a fairly easy climb, but fatal accidents have occurred in the previous years. Because the mountain is sacred to Bali, each death has to be honored with a ceremony where much of the village's money is spent beyond their budget. The town insists on you climb with a guide for your safety and Kintamani's economic stability. You can always find a guide at the entrance, but we recommend you find a personal guide, as it will usually cost less and is more likely to accommodate to your needs. The cost of climbing Mount Bator comes to about $35 per person, and that includes UNESCO feeds and the government insurance. The hike begins early at 3 a.m. so that you get the best view with the skies hovering over the peak as the sun rises around 6 a.m. Wyan does this every day in order to support his family. After paying UNESCO and the government insurance, he makes about 20 bucks a day on average. He taught himself English through YouTube, and we never had an issue with communication. It was an absolute humbling experience for us to meet him. He'll be joining us again when we visit Kuta Beach. Don't be like Asian fish. Check the weather so you don't end up stuck with a bunch of fish like us. Book your return transportation because the cab driver was right about it being impossible to find a ride back to town. Please click subscribe.